Hello, internet peoples. Uh, no, Derek, I was on. supposed to play it. <laughs> I was supposed to announce it. You know what? Nobody asked for your opinion, Derek. I'll kick you off here. Oh, yeah? Bet you won't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bet you won't. Hit play, fool. I did. It's not playing. Well, th okay, then it's probably slow on, the, on your side. Are you there? Yes. Because it just shows you moving your mouse around. I'm on a training, training map right now. Yeah, I still... Wait, it's because you hit full screen. Yes. I told you not to. But that's the only way we can see it on you. They can see it. Well, I can't see it. <laughs> Talk to Talk to you know what? Maybe okay, I should fine. just leave the call. Alright, fine, fine. I'll try to go back to the page. By the way, this is a good video. Or you could just way. hit the escape button so that it closes his, the full screen. Happy. There you go. Now I can see what's going on. Happy. Jonathan's version was better. What do you mean? He had it almost like the entire screen. Yeah. Like it was just a purple screen. It was like freefalltournament.com. Oh. Dude, you're losing by one one kill. Kill someone. What is supposed to be a E3 like something? We can talk about E3 after you kill someone. Oh, uh, you lost. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You're on blue team. You lost. What the? How did you know? What the blue? I looked at the score. It's big enough for me to see because I have it in full screen right now. Um, All right, uh, so. Since we're here, we might as well talk about E3. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're on gold team. Stop talking about that and talk about E3. You go first. All Tell right. the world your opinion. Actually, let's go by conference and conference. Let's start with Sony. Alright, Sony. PlayStation 4. Well, right. they're finally go You can kill them. No. Oh, yeah. You're dead. Alright, conference by conference starting with Sony. Yeah. They're I'm excited for Infamous Second Son. So am I. Not as hyped as Derek, of course, because, you know, Derek just gets overly hyped, like that Sonic Lost World thing. Oh, only so talk about that way. Um... Yeah, so they're finally going to show off the console, show off probably some more of the features of the console. Maybe some games, but I'm expecting more features of the console. Because last time they showed off a lot of games and some of what the PlayStation 4 could do, but not, um, like, the console or its capabilities. Now, I'm excited not only for Second Son, but I'm also excited for some other games. I'm excited for this game called Knack. About uh, this creature looking thing that's made out of pieces. It kind of looks nice. It's Legos. Yeah, it's basically like... Legos. Alright, um, now. Oh, Final Fantasy 2. Oh, yeah, the Final Fantasy 13 ver or Final Fantasy Versus 13 or Final Fantasy 15, whatever you want to freaking call it. It's, well, yeah, and I heard something about the Final Fantasy X and X2 remake thing. Oh, just so you people know, there was a Final Fantasy 14 And 11. Well, everybody knows there was 11. They, they, they probably found out about it after 12 came out. But there was a Final Fantasy 14, everyone, so stop complaining that they haven't made a Final Fantasy 14. But it's they made it. Yeah, it's an online game, same with Final Fantasy IV, or, or, yeah, same with Final Fantasy XI. Oh, fine, did that guy die? Anyway, go on. Um, what else is there? Get some health. Yeah. Um... Let's see. Um, what about the... Uh, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Yeah. That looks like... It looks cool, but I heard this really good argument about it, how it just, it's basically just the same exact game that they've been making for the past few years, and I realized that they were right. So it's like Call of Duty. It's third-person Call of Duty. I wouldn't know, if, like, what kind of Call of Duty, but... Grand Theft Auto? Maybe. 
It's amazing. Oh, yeah. So is everybody hyped for GTA 5? Because I'm not. <laughs> okay, are you gonna buy it? No. Ooh. Ooh. Oh look, the fans are foaming at the mouth. <laughs> what the? Oh yeah, they slide crazy. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, else was Sonic? I'm interested in seeing the PS Vita, but I'm still not gonna buy it. And nobody got time for that crappy Vita. And they'll still show like new stuff for like the whole stuff. It's too short. Sure. Who's that? So be happy. If... <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna backflip forever until you hit the ground. I'm not gonna hit the ground anytime soon. That's okay, cause oh, you're about to hit it. Three, two, one. Oh no! Oh, dude, somebody is spawning him. In our town, that's called spawn camper. You should have heard me and Jonathan talking about this yesterday. Returning back to E3, we need to stay focused. I apologize, people. I'm not very good at focusing. They don't say. Um, Sony has a good lineup of games, I'd say, for PS4, PS3. I mean, I don't care about this. At least it's not as bad as the last conference we're going to talk about. And that would be... Wait, are we going to Microsoft or Nintendo first? We're going to Nintendo after Sony. Alright, so... Or we can go to on... third party developers. Maybe. Now, let's save them after the three main consoles. So, Nintendo. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> Honestly, the only reason that people will buy the Wii U is for Smash. And I mean, use... the best name I've heard for it was the Wii... The Wii Flop, I believe was how it was said. Because the Wii U has been doing horrible! Until the Xbox conference. And I guess we'll be talking about that now. No, well... Because honestly, outside of Smash, there's nothing really left to talk about. Mario? We, we don't really know what else is coming out except Sonic Lost World, uh, which well, Derek is super hyped for, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. Um, That's what that'll be in the third party. Uh, Smash and... And the new Zelda. Uh, and the new Zelda, yeah, that's really the only things to be hyped for, because the Mario game they're gonna make is probably just gonna be another remake of Super Mario Brothers. Oh, and the remake of Wind Waker, too. Oh, who cares? It's the, be original, the original Wind Waker was the best. Yeah, this, there's a whole wrong making a remake. Yeah, but I saw a screenshot of the HD game and the original game side by side, or one was on the top and one was on the bottom. And honestly, I thought the one on the top that was from the original looked better than the HD. The one with the HD was just too bright for me. Oh, so you, oh well, I don't know if they'll probably have an option to put down a brightness. But yeah, but anyway. I mean, basically, keep, it's just I called. Come on, Derek. We have to keep talking about everything else. We can't just keep talking about Wind Waker. Fine. I'm also really kind. of kind of excited for Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, honestly, Pokemon has been taking a downturn, in my opinion. But like, I am excited for Mario, Mario on the Wii's Dream Team. Like, honestly, after Generation 3, I think Pokemon was spinning out of control. And the Dream Team, like, Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story, those have always been good. I played both of them. That's probably one of my favorite RPG games, like, to go play on the go. They're pretty good. Yeah, they were pretty good. I can't wait for the... What was the... What was the fourth one's entry? No, third. Is, is it the third? Yeah, because there's only Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story, unless I missed one. Uh... Wait, 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 hold on, let me think. No, wait, there was Superstar Saga. I don't remember that. It was for GBA. Oh. But I played that, both of the ones on the DS. Um. All right. Nintendo. Oh wait, there there was a rumor about a new Metroid game, which may, you know. That would probably make me happy because they need to redeem themselves after uh, the other, other M. M. 
which is considered the worst Metroid game ever made. <laughs> no, it's well, well <laughs> I mean, I actually want to go get it and play it myself to see why everybody hates it, and probably everybody will be screaming at me. No, it's a waste of your money. It's it's the controls. That's the big problem for me. Yeah, I heard it's also third person, and that's never been done since the days of uh, the original Metroid. He's on your team. Oh, sir. There's nothing All wrong right. with what I call a third person Metroid game. It's their first time trying it. Well, yeah. Instead of a side scroller, now it's an actual third person. But the one now, I, Derek. We have to talk about the last major game company. But we have to get to it. Wait, before I can talk, um, there was this Metroid game for Nintendo Land that was perfect. It's what Metroid Other Realm should have been, but it wasn't. It freaking was. But if that's everything we got from Nintendo, we have to move on to that to one. <laughs> How fitting of an. How fitting of a title, Derek. The Xbox One, or as I've been taken to call on it, the X-Bone. Is that my X-Bone? Because, honestly, what in the fuck? Like, literally, I think Microsoft just went, came into that conference. They wouldn't have had to say a word. They would have just had to point at the crowd, point at the console, flip everybody off, and then moonwalk out of there, and they would have gotten the same reaction. Ugh, why? Although that would, probably would have been a lot funnier if they had done that. Why, Microsoft? You know what, I had, I was so excited when it was gonna be announced by the Microsoft after that conference, I'm like, I, I wasted so much of my precious time. I could've been doing you my homework. You dense motherfucker. Mother I could have been doing my homework during that time. And honestly, I didn't actually watch the whole thing. I had Derek sort of narrate important parts of it, and, uh, yeah, yeah. it sucks. Yeah, I watched And the also, with all the new info that's coming out about it, if you're buying one, you must not either pay attention, or you just honestly are such a hardcore fanboy that you just... Wow, Derek, you didn't even get a kill. And we tied. You suck. Um, anyway. Um, uh, what am I saying? Right, um... Uh, Basically, they're just horrible. What they've done is horrible. And uh, if you're getting it, you should be either... You should be ashamed of yourself. You, should, you, better, you better lock your windows, go to the gun company, and go smash it. I mean, honestly, the game lineup isn't that great. Call of Duty Ghosts. Well, there's Forza, barely any game lineup. That's it. There's Call of Duty Ghosts, Forza. Um, they're not even making a new Halo game. No, there are. And that was, they are. Yeah. I know they were making that stupid TV show, and we all know how great freaking video game TV shows and movies go. The only good ones were um. Kirby. Kirby. That was it. <laughs> oh, hey, you're glitching. I think there no, there was a I call it, Halo TV show back then, but that was like CGI. I think. Well, now it's being a live action directed by Steven Spielberg. Which, the guy who made Jaws in Jurassic Park is directing Halo. I I can expect a good thing because it has a good director. No, even if it has a good director, the show will probably be garbage. Well, they, um, they. So, since they didn't give us any games to rag on, let's rag about the console. Wait, they did, but it was just like a, a, like a, a leaked list. They had some game called Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Land, and Halo 5, and some Halo Assault games, and some Forza games, but I'm not really that interested, except for Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yeah, and who can forget EA? You know what? I was kind of glad they left Nintendo. <laughs> You know, honestly, Electronic Arts, leave. I mean, you've been fail they've been failing so hard, but we'll talk about them in a few minutes. No, um, okay. Microsoft, the Xbox One, the whole internet connection thing is just a big slap to the face of all gamers. Like, one of the things that gamers can rely on, we can play offline and we don't need to be connected. 
and if, if we lose our internet connection, like say, we get a hurricane, and our house isn't destroyed, but the internet goes out. Like, remember last summer when we got hit by that derecho, and the power went out for a few days? So, oh, he means that. That huge freaking storm that knocked out the power for, like, for some people for, like, weeks. Why can't I just find one person to kill? Because you're not very good at it. Jonathan would have owned you in 10 seconds. I killed and Jonathan three times last time. He had the most kills in in all of the things he was doing. But that's beside me. Anyway. Um, you're dead. You know, I'm, I'm switching mine. You can't... Oh yeah, you can't switch to the other team. Oh, you mean the class. Yeah. Too late. No, I can switch it still. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, um, Microsoft's all, internet, you have to be connected at least once a day hey, in your own house, and if, or your own console, if you go, you can't change it after you've respawned. Oh, okay, I'll just wait until I get killed. Or you can just keep running around. Anyway, um, they... Hey, if you're at a friend's console and you log in, you can only be not connected to the internet for an hour before you have to reaffirm your access, or else they'll make the console useless. Except for DVD, movies, and live TV! Which, if, someone, if you're trying to stream something on Xbox One, if someone, I call you, pay for the movie, but if someone tries to come and watch hey, it... Hey, Light Swarns! If someone tries to come in and watch it with you, then the thing will turn off. Yeah, because you didn't pay the right amount of money. Just for other people to watch it, that's fucking stupid. No, it's them being a business. But They're trying to milk gamers for as much money as they can, and if you're buying the Xbox One, you're literally just feeding business. Well, excuse me, I don't want to give them some of my money. I just want to keep my Hold on. money. What? I want to save games. I want to save my money for real games. Games that right. I would, you know, use my oh. money on. Oh, and let me just get to this. The always or no use games things was, uh, was confirmed not to be true. However, only participating retailers can uh, do games. So, yeah. Still stupid. Yeah. See, now you're a blaster. You got a machine, you got a minigun and a rocket launcher, I do. Um, um, for the Xbox One, I really want to save my money to buy some real games, but it's just... What if I don't have enough money to buy real games? What if I have to get for my friend? But I don't want to pay money just to get one for my friend. Yeah, it's... It's nonsense what they're doing. You don't like, see it's... Sony doing this. You know what the back-ass backward thing is? Sony is the TV company, but Microsoft... Yeah, is Microsoft is the one that's literally trying to rob people blind with this. But this, you, the whole TV thing. You would expect and this yet, more from Sony. Honestly, I didn't think I didn't expect this at all. Like this came as a surprise that they would even try to do this. This like Microsoft. But like if I had known um one of the companies was gonna do it, like somebody said, Hey, Tristan, they're gonna focus on TV more than they're gonna focus on games. Games, I would have been all like, oh, is it going to be Sony? Because they have their TV company. Microsoft is a surprise because, you know, considering the fact that they're a computer company, first and foremost. Yes. Like, honestly. Stupid. It's just mind blowing. And. Sony knows where it's going. Honestly, Microsoft might have just ensured the console its own console's death before it even came out. It's just I don't know. Like so many people are gonna be booing it. Like I only know one person who's gonna get the Xbox One. I know two people who are gonna get the Xbox One. I'm like, you 
dance? You just went full retard. You Nobody went. goes full retard. <laughs> it's... Like, like, I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, who in their right mind would buy this? Fanboys. Yeah. And you're a fanboy. What, uh, Microsoft? Yeah. Well, you will, like, you will gladly defend Microsoft from me. I would. I am, a, I really did like... Well, not Microsoft, but the 360, because we, I have gotten into huge arguments with people over the 360. Let's, let's not start with the one round right now. We're not going to talk about 360 PS3. Yeah. I think we bashed the Xbox, bo the X-Bone enough for now. But you think um, that the Xbox 360 is way better than Xbox One, right? Honestly, if I had to, if I compare PS3 to the 360, I'll say PS3. If I had to compare 360 to the Xbox One, I would say 360. And I don't even like the 360. If I had to compare the ori the original Xbox One, the Xbox to the Xbox One, screw that's so Xbox confusing. One. All right, the original. You know what? I'm calling it the 720. Screw it. I'm either calling it X Bone or 720. Or Infinity, because Infinity is a, a better game for that. No, I'm calling it 720. Okay. Either. If I had to choose between the original Xbox or the X Phone, I would pick um, the original Xbox. You see how bad that thing is? The original Xbox? No, I mean the Xbox One. It's it's that bad that you have to go back that to. I would pick the original over it. That's a console that's from like 13 years ago. Yeah, that should be saying something. And... Now. Enough of bashing the X Phone. We have to get to third party developers. Now, what do you want to start with? Well, do you want to keep bashing or do you want to talk about somebody else? Can I just say like two things for the bashing? Uh, is it for a third party or is it still for X Phone? It's for Xbox. <sighs> Alright, get it out of your system. Alright. Now, I am. I like Xbox 360 for what it has. I, d I don't like how you have to pay for online. But I do like these games. I, I I liked Halo. I but that's it. Okay. That's what Xbox only has. It's Halo. That's no. What about no, uh, Gears of War? Man, I don't see that many people liking Gears of War for some reason. I think when it originally came out, people were all like, "Oh yeah, this is super cool." But as the series went on, people were just all like, "This is total garbage." Why? I, I see this. people go more for like Halo and stuff because Halo is probably like it's like it's like Sonic. Halo Sega. is. Yeah, Mario to Nintendo. Um, yeah, because it's like the main. Crash Sony Bandicoot board. to Sony, although that isn't their little mascot anymore. <laughs> Sony doesn't have a mascot anymore, people. Now it's just like you could, you could say that Lara Croft is, but considering she went to the 360, uh, does that make her a game whore? Let's ignore that, man. <laughs> um, Halo is their only selling point for, like, their first-party titles. Or Forza, I believe. Forza is another one Forza? for the racing fans. Yeah. Okay. But Still no kills. Because I'm, I'm talking while I'm doing this. True, true. I'll give you that. But, um... Phil... I mean, if it had, like, because they said that Ether, they're going to have, like, eight more IPs, and I kind of believe them. Think about it. If they have eight, how many do you think Nintendo will have when, oh, you're stuck. Oh, my God. When, oh, yeah. just oh, yeah. wait for, just wait for the warm-up to end. Okay. Anyway, um, Nintendo, whose console is currently not doing the best right now, if they can release a bunch of games that everybody likes... They're gonna have a lot more people flocking to the, them than uh, Xbox or even maybe Sony. Oh wait, did we talk about what happened to um? Whoa, uh, I think they're glitching super hard. Oh, got it. okay. Did we talk about what happened after the Xbox conference with Nintendo? Oh yeah, everybody. Um, after the X Bones uh conference. Nintendo's stock went up by 875%, and um, on the Dow Jones or one of the stock markets, Sony, his stock went up by 8.75 points, I believe. So, uh, or something like that. I have the picture saved somewhere. As the cowboy with the sunglasses would say, 
Mother of God. <laughs> That's yeah, the, honestly, Microsoft embarrassed themselves with that conference. And with that, Sony and Nintendo have, like, this is like their moment to shine. This is the moment where they could uh, officially kick uh, Microsoft out of the console war. And then it will just like, be Nintendo if, and Sony. Like, if they play their cards right, Microsoft might have no choice but to leave because Microsoft, because the Xbox won't be profitable anymore. They'll still get some money from the original Xbox and 360, but the Xbox One will be a huge failure. And you know what I'd like to see? What? Because I've heard that um, the owners of uh, Sony and Nintendo are actually really good friends, I'd like to see their two companies combine together. Like, not one of them buying out the other. I know it will never happen. One of them will eventually buy out the other. But I kind of want to see a merge between the two big gaming companies, Sony and Nintendo. You mean a PlayStation, Bar Royale, and Smash Brothers combo? Not just that, but, like, they could revive, like, all of the... Nintendo could revive some of the more, or, like, like, uh, cartoony... The people from Star Fox. No, well, actually, Sony could do a reboot of Star Fox and make it more dramatic. Um, what I was thinking was Nintendo could do a reboot of Crash Bandicoot because that's right up their alley, the whole cartoony thing. And they could revive Spyro because I do not like Skylanders. I don't. I don't care if I piss so many little kids out there. <laughs> I, honestly, I never really saw the big draw of Skylanders. It, it just reminded me of, like, Bakugan. No, it reminded me of Pokemon, about <laughs> you have to keep buying these cars just because you want to be, like, some huge... <laughs> honestly, if you had Pokemon cards in elementary school, you were basically, like, the coolest guy there. Yeah. If, you're, if you had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you were just the, that weirdo who sat in the corner. That's how my classroom went. <laughs> I don't get Yu-Gi-Oh back then, but... Yeah, let's start with the car things. Let's get back to the games. All right. But so third party. All right. So you said you had two things to say. Yeah. That said... was... And there's one thing for Xbox. You know what? I. It's really hard to say, but I will actually watch my. I mean, Microsoft's press conference just to see if they do good. I. I doubt it. But you know, you can't believe me for anything. That looks so weird, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now that you've said your share, let's talk about third party. So, Wait, starting what? with the worst, EA. Man. 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 Literally all I can do is just sigh heavily in disappointment. Well, Battlefield 4, I guess? Uh... But look at all of their failures. Sim City. Like... All of their games are super buggy and glitchy. It's just a shame. I know EA used to be pretty good at some point. They made a uh, what's my call it? What was that game they made? They they basically created the entire sports game genre. Yeah, that's basically. How, that's how big they were. But... And now look how far they've fallen. That guy is just standing in front of your corpse. I hope he's not going to tee that. What's the point of sports? It's like Call of Duty for sports games. Well, honestly, people like Call of Duty because they want to be a soldier. But and it's the I same think thing sports every game, game is. Yeah, it is, and that's the point. That's their big selling point. Oh, look, you're in a new war. Go kill people. Be a soldier. That's the draw drawing point. It brings people into an environment that they want to be in. But, um, they probably couldn't be in it in real life. Same thing with sports. You want to be a really big football player, you'll never be one. But hey, you can be one in this game. You know what? They, I think they... that's the big draw to sports games. Even honestly, I've played a few. i played a football game and a baseball game. And the football game I played was MLB 2005. That game, I love. Just for the soundtrack... It's awesome. What what are you doing? Sorry, I, I, I glitched out. I mean, like, I slid on my touchpad, but, um, what you were saying... Yeah. 
Well, here's the thing about EA for me. It started with NBA 2002 and ended with NBA 2002. So basically, it began and it, it began with the best game and it ended with the best game. To me, I think probably the best um, basketball game for me is NBA Jam. Always NBA Jam. I love NBA Jam. All right, so we bashed E3. We talked about it a little. Who else will be there? Probably Activision. And from what I've heard, they've been sucking a little. It's because of the Call of Duty. Yep. So Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. No hype. Well, yeah. <laughs> it looks freaking stupid. Okay, better graphics. Look at freaking good. Look! Look at this dog! I saw a picture. It was the Call of Duty Ghosts dog compared to the Call of Duty dog from uh, Modern Warfare 3. I was all like, if I saw that Modern Warfare 3 dog, I'd be running for my life. Because the Modern Warfare 3 dog was freaking scary looking oh when it was attacking you. Dude. And then this Call of Duty Ghost dog is just all like, it's a German Shepherd, it's cute. When I played Modern Warfare 2, when the dog came out, I was, I was like, oh my gosh. The only way to kill you is you have to crack his neck. Yeah, and that's kind of... I'm surprised PETA didn't have a freaking heart attack on that <laughs> Um, so you, you're done with Activision? Um, oh yeah, one last thing. I don't know if they released it yet, or if they haven't. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4. Looks, it looks, Whatever. It looks good. Honestly, it's just pirates. Yeah. And while pirates are cool... They get boring after a while. They've been overdone, I think. I got what ninjas to be in the series now. Because I like ninjas. That would actually be kind of cool, like going back to feudal Japan where there was ninjas and samurais yeah. and Templars could be, could be samurais. That's actually pretty cool. That would actually be a really nice game. Yeah. But how about let's go to Square Enix. Square Enix. Alright, so we got... Final I don't Fantasy, know... Final Fantasy, and Final Fantasy. Well... No, there's only going to be one Final Fantasy. Kingdom, or no. Final Fantasy versus 13. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I, just... I don't know what, I don't know if it's supposed to take place in the plot line of Final Fantasy 13, if it's a totally separate game. I have no idea what it's about. I just want my Kingdom Hearts 3. And people who are hyped for Kingdom Hearts 3, don't expect it to be at this E3. Expect it at the next one or two years from now. Because, because until they finish developing Pink Final Fantasy Versus 13 and they release it, the guy who makes Kingdom Hearts is not gonna uh, work on it. It's like with at all. It's like with Smash Bros. Until Skyward, I mean, I mean, Kingdom, not Kid Icarus Uprising was finished, so he was gonna start on Smash Four. And he finished Kid Icarus Uprising, and he kept his promise. He started on Smash 4, yep. and it's going to be at E3. That was last year, and now it's coming this year. Yep. So, you know, good. And we're going to get a trailer this year, too. Sweet. Excellent. Maybe we'll find out who some of the new characters are. I've also heard that they aren't going to bring in as many characters from other series that aren't Nintendo. Whoa. But honestly, the one... I don't think... Honestly, I think bringing in um, Snake was kind of a mistake. He doesn't fit in with the whole bestiary of Smash Brothers. I thought bringing Sonic. Like, like Sonic, I can understand because they're all cartoony. Sonic's a major rival. It's kind of fun to have him in there. Yeah, it's very surprising too. But Snake made no sense whatsoever. No, Snake was actually more surprising because like, I was kind of that one. Like honestly, I like Snake and all. Don't get me wrong. Snake is pretty cool. I like Metal I like Metal Gear Solid too. It was pretty good. Cool but um um putting him in Smash Brothers doesn't make any sense. I mean it, I guess So it I'm makes kind sense. of hoping they I'm kind of hoping they don't put in Snake and just put in somebody else. And like put they put in Crash Bandicoot or uh Sly Cooper. Somebody like that. Somebody who's a cartoony character who's not really, um, you know, who makes sense in that whole Smash Brothers world. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. Alright. Now, um... Sega. Sonic Lost World, okay, we're done. Oh, fuck! What about Bayonetta? Sega? Bayonetta made Sega? No. Or Sega made Bayonetta? Yeah. 
Wow. They also made Aliens Colonial Marines, and that game sucks, but, you know. But, okay. Whatever. I'm gonna be on this for a while. Actually, I'm gonna keep you to, like, two minutes, so say what you want to say, and then we move on. Why? Because, honestly, I'm getting tired of Sonic Lost World. Well, people are... So many people are loving that game. People, like, are hyped for that game more than any other Sonic game in the series. Alright, so, here's what I think with Sonic Lost World. Ooh, he finally got a power he should have had since the first game. Oh my god, it's so revolutionary. <laughs> so why is it, isn't it called Sonic Colors 2? Um, because they're lazy. But it could just be like a prototype title, like, you know how they change, um, titles every once in a while? Like, um, they could have called... Well, I can't really think. Like, perfect example, Xbox. Yeah. I hate to bring up the Xbox again, but Xbox, Xbox One had about six different names for it until they finally released it. Not six, but like four or five. There's the 720, the Infinity, the Durango, the Fusion. Um, um, they kept changing the name, or fans did, and what I consider it is a sort of prototype title. Like, it's not the real title, it's just one that they're thinking about using. But the story for this game is that Dr. Eggman tried to harness these seven, six deadly creatures. Warriors. Yeah, and they betrayed Eggman, so for the first time ever, not including Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, Sonic 06, Sonic Sh Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Rivals 2, Sonic, you know what? Like... Dude, focus, you're getting killed. Okay. For the first time ever, quote unquote, Sonic and Sonic and Eggman are gonna team up. And... Working together. And the only character is confirmed for this game was Knuckles, Tails, and Amy. And Eggman. Yeah. And these six people that I think they're probably from a ripoff from Pixar. Or maybe Pokemon. Cause one of, cause that one green chick looks like Meloetta from Pokemon. I and if you don't, and if you don't know who Meloetta is, audience, uh, you can go look it up. It was released Generation Five. It was um, one of those special characters that you had to get it in an event, and I got it through action replay codes. I thought that red, I was too lazy. I thought that red guy, like I think he's probably the the big honcho of the group. He looked like red... Bowser, but he doesn't look nothing like Bowser. That red guy, remind... his face reminds me of the samurai helmet. Well, yeah. Like, the horns and stuff remind me of a classic, uh, uh, samurai helmet. I'm not saying it is. People don't rage. Because it's not samurai I'm just saying it reminds me of it. Um, the... the big yellow fat guy just looked like a fat guy. He reminded me of a um, yeah, that's actually a good description. Um, that guy on the staff. Uh, that, he reminds that guy me of that um, character from King Kung Fu Panda. Uh, I don't. You mean that like little lemur guy who was the master? Yeah. I never watched Kung Fu Panda, so I'm not entirely sure. I've got his name. So, um, that purple dragon thing reminds me of the way Mushu looks from Mulan. Like, the way he's designed, he reminds me of Mushu. But then when you saw, like, the trailer, he looked nothing like Mushu. No, he's- that's why I only saw the trailer. He looks like Mushu. He did? Yeah, he's a long, elongated dragon with the same sort of facial features. He just doesn't have the whisker things and the cool voice. Oh yeah, he just has like that little scream where it's like <laughs> Um, there's six and we got Samurai, Goron, Pokemon, and Emo no. Guy. No, here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna give them all our own names. Samurai, Goron, Meloetta, uh, Mushu, and I don't remember the other two. Uh, the guy called the one that looks like that lemur guy from Pokemon and Emo Guy. Oh yeah. I don't even know what he looks like. Yeah, he's emo. <laughs> he's basically an emo. He has like he has the emo hair and everything, and he has like. I'm pretty little... sure that some emo person is taking offense to this. I'm sorry, all those people. <laughs> but he has like a little. We apologize. Rose. We do... disclaimer: we do not make fun of emo people. 
don't kill us with your earrings and knives. Um, the gameplay looks really nice. It reminds me of Mario Galaxy. Oh yeah, we got wall run. He can run on walls on a button command. We should have had that from the first game. Bravo, Sega. Bravo. Yeah, that's literally my reaction to seeing that. Oh, you finally gave him something he should have had since the beginning? Since he can run on water and he might as well run on freaking rainbows while he's at it? He can finally run on the wall? Bravo! Um, the gameplay almost looks like a Super Mario Galaxy, but then it had like that Sonic feel to it. And it, it... Oh yeah, that one picture I sent you. When Mario looks like Sonic, Nobody cares. But when Sonic looks like Mario, everybody loses their minds. What's wrong with, you know, Sonic taking some, something from a good game? Because when you think about it, Nintendo is releasing this. Yeah, he, like, they're helping making up, this so it, game. So it does make sense that it sort of looks like Mario Galaxy. And just so you know, people, what I referenced was a meme. If you watch The Dark Knight, with the part where Joker is talking to Harvey Dent, that was... Somebody improvising on some of the words. Yeah. So there you go. I love that movie. That movie is pretty good, but let's not talk about Batman right now. But, I thought, yeah, Nintendo's making the game, oh, so... Oh! That reminds me! Batman Arkham Origins. Oh, yeah. But let's get... Well, we'll get, we'll get that after we get done. Hold on. We're almost done with Sega. Yeah. Just just calm your boobs. <laughs> so... Let me just not dump this. If you're a this. girl, calm your boobs. If you're a guy, calm like your calm your, your balls. genitals. Calm your genitals. Um, the it's published by Nintendo. It's gonna be Nintendo's helping making this game, so I don't really call it a ripoff of Mario Galaxy. It's just taking steps from Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it's like taking a few things out of the Mario playbook with uh, Nintendo's permission. Yeah, and it, it's it probably the best way to say it. It looks interesting. I watched the. IGN like probably called gameplay. I think it was like 12 minutes. Oh yeah, let's listen to IGN, which called Pokemon repetitive and Call of Duty one of the best games ever made. Ugh. Let's listen to them. Well, <laughs> that was the only place to find the gameplay for this game, so there was no other way. Anyway, but I think that should just about cover it, don't you think? Yeah, but. I'll just end it like this. It's coming. It's going to be at E3. It's coming this autumn. I'm looking forward to playing. I'm going to make sure to turn it off when it comes on, or skip the part entirely. I'm going to kill you if you do that. No, we're sitting there. Oh, it's Sonic Lost World. Turn off the TV. Start playing in my DSi. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Well, I'm going. After this, I'm going to show you a video of my reaction if you did that. <laughs> or my reaction if Sonic Lost World was a bad game. But anyway, um. All right, We're done so with Bat Sega. Batman. Yeah, I love Batman Arkham City. It's one of my favorite games. I never played it. I have to though. You, but I don't have the money. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. I'm dead. <laughs> That's how good it is. Yeah. I, I heard Arkham S Asylum wasn't that good though. It was okay, but Arkham City is just way. Way better. It's way past cool. And there's only two games that have made my favorite games of all time list. It's only Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Legend of Zelda or Dream of Time like every other person in the world. Nah, I kinda like Link's the Pass. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm oh yeah. People who don't know, according to Metacritic, the uh, best game ever made is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with a 99% on Metacritic. And I don't care why. Because, because it, it was so, like, revolutionary. I know for its like time. It's best for it. But for its time. Yeah. For its time, it's probably one of the best games ever made. And it's and nobody ever can really find anything bad to say about it. If you played the game, you liked it. I liked the like game. Like the story, the story was in depth. It wasn't confusing. The gameplay at the time was revolutionary. The um the blah blah blah. The <laughs> items that you get are um pretty cool. Honestly, the only part of the game that anybody hates is the water temple. 
And I never really understood why. The only thing I can understand about hating the Water Temple is Dark Link and having to always use the Iron Boots. That, and also the map layout, that's kind of confused me too. But with the 3DS re-release, I have no problem with the Water Temple. Honestly, I did it on the N64 version, and I got it within a few, like, a day or two, because I couldn't play it all in one sitting, so I probably got through the Water Temple within a day or two. For me, the Water Temple was simple. Oh, speaking of a of Snakes of the Past, there's a sequel to that game coming for the 3DS. Eh, whatever. Eh, oh, oh yeah, I'm wondering that likes Snakes of the Past here. Yeah. It's my, it's probably one, it's my favorite Zelda game. Pro That's actually a good name, Egregious Brute. It's my favorite Zelda game, like, I think it's better than Ocarina of Time, yeah, yeah, I said that, I said it. <laughs> it's, it's, it was- Watch, just everybody in the comments is just gonna get up, pull out a shotgun from nowhere, and just go, <laughs> Time to hunt this motherfucker down. <laughs> It, I have no problem with it. I mean, yeah, it, it gets boring in the beginning, but after that, it gets really good. Um, okay. But let's after that. So, we talked about Zelda for no reason. But what were we, we talking, talking about? We talked about Batman. Oh, yeah. We talked about... Wait, let me go through the list. We didn't we we did get talked about, about a lot of Batman. Batman. We talked about enough Batman. Alright, we talked about EA, Activision, Sega, Batman... Legend of Zelda, or I already said Sega. Wait, um, we've got one more. Ubisoft. What is? Aren't those the guy that makes uh, Assassin's Creed? And Rayman, and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Oh wait, sorry people, I put uh, Assassin's Creed in the wrong thing. My mistake. I haven't really played any Assassin's Creed games. It's a four. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, at, at least it's, you know what's the well, game. Well, Activision, a lot of people aren't liking right now, probably because of that new Walking Dead game. By the way, people, Walking Dead, Survival Instinct, don't buy it. <laughs> now, um, the, what was it called? The Ubisoft, Rayman Legends. I know tons of people are already pissed that they are already doing, but... Honestly, who gives a damn? But with the new, like, challenge app with Rayman Legends for the Wii... No, I mean, who gives a damn about Rayman? What? You don't like Rayman? It just looks stupid. I played a demo of one of the Rayman games at, uh, Walmart, I believe, because whenever we go to... Whenever I go to Walmart, my... Grandma goes shopping, and I stay in the video game section, and I look at stuff, and then I play demos. Was and it? one of the times I was there, I played, I think, Rayman Origins, and it was stupid. It just reminded me of another platformer. And while platformers are occasionally fun, Rayman was just dull, in my opinion. Well, what are your favorite platformers? Well, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is amazing. I will never argue with you on that point. I'll just say that there are things, in my opinion, that are better. I can't think of any right now, so don't question me. <laughs> mm, eh, Come Sonic on! Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2 was really fun. You know Sonic I is say. good in platforming. Yes, the Sonic Adventure series was awesome. Like, I have no problems with it. I um, like the... Sonic... Like the regular Sonic, Sonic 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. Those are okay. I've played through a few of them. I've never beaten any. Um, you ever got Super okay. Sonic? No. Oh. Like I said, I haven't played much of them. Yeah. I played Sonic R and Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> I got I got Super Sonic and Sonic R. Does that count? <laughs> no, that's called... The, that's like... <laughs> if someone wants to play Sonic R with you. Okay, so who are we going to play as? I'm going to play as Super Sonic. You drop the controller... <laughs> It just walk out of the room. <laughs> no, it's all like, Hey Derek, let's play Sonic R. Okay, who are you gonna pick? I'll pick Super Sonic. You put down the controller, just put on a little hat, and walk out the door. <laughs> Cause he owns everyone in that game. Honestly, I know Son Super Sonic cannot be beaten. He cannot. Like, you can pick the second fastest character, which I want to say is Metal Sonic. I thought it was Sonic. Either, either Sonic or Metal Sonic is the second fastest character, and no matter what, Super Sonic will win. And how are you supposed to unlock him, by the way? Oh, you, throughout the levels, you can collect the seven Chaos Emeralds, so yeah. Okay, okay, let's get back to E3. 
too right. many tangents. Yeah, but that's the point. We're just supposed to talk. Yeah, it's just an E3, like, you know, a ramble thing. A pre-E3 ramble. Well, anyway, videos are going to be like this. We're just going to talk about random things that come into our head. We'll just be talking about one thing and go on to a tangent about another and try to get back to the original thing, and then continue to talk about something completely random. <laughs> Then on the Oh, and by the way, people, just so you know, I have a really bad time on focusing about, with, like, focusing on one thing at any given moment. So if it seems like, um, I'm never really paying attention, so if, like, Derek is playing and he says, Hey, Tristan, look! And I'll be like, what? I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. It's probably me staring off into the distance thinking about something, not really paying attention. Derek. I have horrible folks, and I already apologize for this to both the viewers and Derek and Jonathan. And whoever else decides to come on to any show that I might be on. Um, what was I gonna say? Let's, well... Okay, uh, around the time of E3, we're gonna make, you know, like, each time we watch a conference, we're gonna make a little video and stuff about our impressions. Reactions. Yeah. Yeah, our reactions. Our reactions. Uh, Derek and Tristan react. Derek and Tristan react to Microsoft Conference. Five seconds in. Fuck Microsoft! <laughs> okay, that should do it for the video. Come, my brethren. Let us destroy Microsoft. Alright, we're getting off onto a tangent here. Yeah. Um, so, Oops. is there any other developers that really are worth any mention? Konami? Konami, that's actually a good one. Yeah, because... Me Metal Gear 5. Yeah, Metal Gear Rising 5, The Phantom King. You mean Metal Gear Soft? Metal, I'm just calling it MGS5. Yeah. Phantom. Anyway, I saw the trailer gameplay thingy of it, and it looked pretty cool. Although, honestly, if I had been playing that, it would have irritated the crap out of me about how tedious it is. But the fact that the elevator exploded and that huge fire trench coat guy came out of there for no real reason, that was cool. Yeah, I would agree. I am really interested in game the game. For... But you know what I'm I want more than Metal Gear 5? What? I want Metal Gear Rising 2. <laughs> okay. I mean for you guys that are out there who don't know, Tristan right. is in love with Metal Gear Rising. Okay. Metal Gear Rising is so freaking epic. The soundtrack is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. The character meh. Like you have that one random Spanish kid who can't speak good English, but he's funny. <laughs> It has some of the characters from all of the Metal Gear games, like Sonny, Raiden from MGS2. He's the main character of the game. Um, I don't really know who else is in there from Metal Gear. They I might make the second one. They are. It was a huge success. They are? They should be. If they're not, I would be depressed and sad. Like, prototype. Don't get me started on Prototype. Yeah, For no. those of you who don't know, the Prototype series was amazing, but they'll never make a Prototype 3 because Activision closed down Radical Entertainment because Prototype 2 didn't sell as many copies as they wanted. I hate all you guys. Honestly, Activision, I just hate you. I really, really hate you. <laughs> For what you did to Prototype. So not I wish only you hate them, for high call, call of duty, you you loathe them for prototypes. <laughs> hate, hate, double hate, <laughs> loathe. <laughs> All right, so um, what were we even talking about? We were talking we... about Konami. Oh yeah, um, metal. Just so you know, let me finish with Revengeance. It's um not a stealth game whatsoever. You're basically a ninja, and the goal of the game is to save the world, and it's basically a hack and slash. And it's- I wanna- I played the demo, and it was fun. Like, the controls are easy. From what I've seen, combos are really easy to perform, so... If you haven't gotten the game, it's really short. It'll probably only take you a few hours to get. I suggest getting it. I wanna get it. I'm gonna try and get it for my birthday or Christmas or something. Actually, no, not for Christmas. I'm getting a PS4 for Christmas. I'm gonna beg for the PS4 for Christmas. I'm not gonna ask for anything other than the PS4 for Christmas. Because of Infamous Second Son? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have 
I have played both Infamouses, and I have beaten both of them. I don't have Infamous 1 anymore. It was a really good game. Infamous 2 was just amazing. I played a demo Inf for Infamous 2, and I really liked it. I, it. It tore me up that I didn't have a PS3. Honestly, the only part that I hate about Infamous 2 is the endings. They just make me so sad. Why? Because they're not going to make a... Well, second song no. forward. No, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, um, one day, we'll have to play through, I'll have to show you the endings for Infamous 2, because, honestly, the good ending is sort of like a tearjerker, I would say. It made me really sad for Cole McGrath. Wait, are we gonna upload this, like, right now, after we're done? I don't know, we'll th think. Probably something. I'll just save this when we actually make the channel. Yeah. Or you could just, we, you could give it to me and I could upload it to mine. Oh. Since, well, since, like, the gaming pros and whatnot, um, haven't been fully stocked with games yet. We haven't really started yet. But, um, actually, let's go back to E3 for a minute. Um, we got done with Konami. I believe so, yes. Let's... We talked a little about MGS5. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, except for that I, I first really can't part that was all tedious. But um, let's talk yeah. about Capcom and Resident Evil 7 and why they do not like yeah. Mega Man. <laughs> Alright. Resident Evil 7, holy crap, I am hyped for that. I mean, I love the Resident Evil series. My first game that I ever played was RE4. And that is the best game in the entire series. I have to I, agree with you right there. I will fight people on this fact. I love RE4. I will be and on while your back I haven't, there. I haven't played any, like, most of the other ones. I'll have, I have all the rest of them, actually, because I got Resident Evil <laughs> which gives you the other five games. Like, literally, you can download the other five games. So, I have Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 on my PSN account, and I have to get some rounds of playing all of them. And they were... I played a little Resident Evil 3 and started getting on my nerves, because of the fact that Nemesis chased you everywhere. And it was starting to piss me off. Re um... Yeah. <laughs> Nemesis is just a game Resident Evil is probably one of my favorite horror games of all time. And I have played a little of Silent Hill 1. I never beat it. I got, I want to say, a quarter of the way through the game. I got to the elementary school. And, like, honestly, that place is kind of freaky. Especially the soundtrack for when you get into the nightmare world. You'll, we'll eventually have, you'll probably have to send me this recording software, Derek. But, so I can restart recording some of my own stuff. Can, but, um, can you, is, it, is your processor like a dual core? It, yeah, I believe we already discussed this, it should be a dual core. Okay, anyway, thank you. Um, like, the, the soundtrack for the Silent Hill School, and that's as far as I've gotten, in the Nightmare World, that thing is creepy. And like, it, you'll just hear random noises going off, and it'll make you jump. Like, and that game was released back in the 90s. And if that is able to scare me, be like more than um. Hold on. Xiao gum. Hi, Claw. Um. What Tristan was trying to say is that Silent Hill soundtrack is very scary and stuff. It really is. I have to admit. Yeah, like, um, if you ever get the chance, like, through emulators, or if you already have a PlayStation 1 and a copy of Silent Hill, and it's been a while since you played, pop it in, start a new file, and get up to the nightmare world of the school. And hold that your pillow. Soundtrack, <laughs> that soundtrack is pretty creepy. Honestly, it's scarier than some of the other survival horror games i played. Now, back to Resident Evil. Resident Evil is, like, my only survival horror game to play. I don't really go back to any other survival horror game other than like, honestly, it's really all with survival. It's not survival horror anymore. Well, Let's just get that out of the way. After Resident Evil 4, it became action horror, which is an entirely different genre. Like, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6 is not at all um, survival horror. It's um, action horror. The enemies fight back. Instead of just trying to eat you, they fight back. And, and I loved Resident Evil 5. 
But this I hate Resident Evil. But this five. dickhead over here doesn't. <laughs> Honestly, reasons that I hate it are, I'll, I have a few reasons for hating it, but let's not get into that, let's talk about, uh, RE6 and 7. Right. Now, a lot of people don't like RE6, and... What about Re and Revelations, like, just came out, like, a month ago? I haven't gotten a chance to play it or a demo, so I wouldn't know, oh. but it looks okay. I wouldn't say it's that great, but, um... Continue. Resident Evil 6, I don't know why everybody hates. Leon's campaign was probably one of the best out of all of them, I will say that. Um, it was, I liked it, I just wish instead of Helena they picked some other chick. It could, I wish they had brought back Claire, honestly. I wish it had been Leon team, not Claire. Mom, stay out of this. Claire was a sissy girl. <laughs> uh... Have you even played Resident Evil 2? I thought you said those games, like, usually gave you a headache. No, I still want Shadow Man Harley. Uh, okay. Well, people, there what? was... What? What's her name? What's her name? Claire. Now, Claire was on her name. I'm thinking Ashley. Oh, yeah, she Ashley! Ashley, she Ashley Graham! Graham. That was the one that you had to rescue, right? Leon! Yeah. Help me! Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna kill her! I'm gonna kill her myself! She ran so Although she can't play games with super hard camera because she got motion sickness from the What, what, free camera room? Uh, no, like, ones where the camera rotates, like, really heavily. She can't do them because of Doom. Oh. Anyway, yeah, that was the sole bad side of, I, like, RE4. It was Ashley. Thank you for reminding me, Mom. I forgot about her. But let's talk about Resident Evil yeah. 7, because... Four. Seven. Yeah. No, I was talking to my mom. Anyway, um, seven, it's, the subtitle is The War Ends Now. If they don't bring back every character from the Resident Evil series, I will cry. I won't cry, but I'll be sad. Well, I, you just... They have to bring back, they have to have Leon, Claire, Ada, Chris, uh, Jill, Sheva, even though I hate Resident Evil 5, they have to have her. Basically, every main protagonist from every game, Resident Evil game, has to be there. Even Rebecca. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> I just want to have one, all of these characters working together to save the world. Even Wesker's son, Jr. Jake. I was about to call him Junior. Honestly, the whole thing with Wesker's son, hun, I thought that idea was kind of cool, although it was kind of dumb. They just wanted to keep Wesker sort of alive. It's like Bowser and, uh, Jr. Yeah. Well, not really, because Wesker is dead and Bowser isn't. Um, and what I really liked about Jake's story, he was uh, the final sequence where you fight Ustanak with your bare hands. He's the final boss of the game for Jake. And the sequence where you fight him hand to hand, mano a mano, giant freaking monster, to six foot tall man, was awesome. Especially if you charged up the palm strike and started going off on a combo. Oh my god, that was so epic. <laughs> Your boss um, can't now, Resident Evil 7, like I said, they have to bring back every character, and I read that in a comment, and I was like, yep, I agree with this wholeheartedly. Every character must be there. Well, what, when do you think it's going to be released? I'm expecting next year, maybe holiday season, but I'm thinking summer of next year would be a good time for it. But because you, if they release a holiday season, that will be a lot earlier than I expected, and I'll expect it to be super buggy. So I'm expecting them to give it, like, maybe a year or two of development, and so that it won't be. Yeah, give it some time. Oh, 
and let me just bring this up. For all of you old school gamers out there who have played the Atari 2600, the oh, you got an enemy kill somehow. Um, they are digging out a landfill looking for the most notorious game ever made. <coughs> ET. They are looking to see what Atari did with the ET game that nearly destroyed the home video game game like market. But let's I know, let's talk about Capcom with Mega Man because that has oh Mega Man's dead. Yeah. I don't They're get, never making another Mega Man game ever again. I don't get why. Because, I mean, I call it, Legends 3 was supposed to come out for a 3DS. And then Capcom said that they weren't going to make it because not a lot of people were liking the game. Didn't want the game. But they made, like, the fans made, like, a 100,000 like thing on Facebook to help support the game. And Capcom said they're still not going to do it. And they won Honestly, that game! Yeah, it, Capcom with Mega Man is kind of strange that they're not listening to the fans about Mega Man Legends 3. And for those of you who've never heard of it, look up Mega Man Maverick Hunter. It was supposed to be a Mega Man game with the same sort of gameplay as Metroid Prime. It's from the same people who made Metroid Prime 2. Yeah, so if you ever get the chance, look up uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter. It looks really cool, Derek showed it to me. I thought it was kind of dumb that he'd be sort of like this war guy, but whatever. That's just my opinion. If you are into like, the whole sort of Metroid Prime, Mega Man thing, that's your story. Uh, I can't like judge you for your opinion. But It's not my stuff. I think it's probably because the for the main the one who created Mega Man like left Capcom. That's why they're not making any more Mega Man games. Yeah, after Mega Man X Street Fighter, they killed him. He's done. They'll never make another Mega Man game. Until somebody decides to reboot it years in the future. Because they cancel over three Mega Man games that were supposed to come out this generation, which was Mega Man Universe, Mega Man Legends 3, and Mega Man Maverick Hunter. So yeah, people who are thinking Mega Man's coming back, stop <laughs> expecting it. <laughs> he's, he's gone like... He's gone for the moment. Like Spyro. I doubt they'll... I doubt they'll forget him. Gamers won't let the companies forget him, but he's there. He's not getting any new games anytime soon. Hey, you got one kill somehow. I could get more kills and it's, if I wasn't talking. All right. So is that all of the developers? Um, let me see. Then. We got Ubisoft, Activision, EA, Capcom, Konami, Sega. Um. I think... I think we got them all. Wait, I'm, I'm, wait, wait, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, Infamous. Yeah. Alright, so, actually we did talk about Infamous already, so cool. talking about it is kind of pointless. Okay, um, yeah, anything else to say about E3? There's only a few things that I'm hyped for. PlayStation 4, Smash, Resident Evil, and that's about it. Derek is hyped for, like, everything. PS4, Wii U games, Smash, Resident Evil, Sonic. Like, Derek, stop being so hyped. Okay, let me just tell you what I'm hyped for. I'm hyped for PS4. I'm hyped for new stuff for the Wii U. I'm really hyped for, like, the new Zelda game. Wind Waker HD. Resident Which Evil 7. Which I still 7. say is a stupid idea. Res or Wind Waker HD, I still say it's a stupid idea, but whatever. Continue. Um, Sonic Lost World, the new Mario game, new. I said new. Did I say new Zelda game? Okay. Uh, Mario Dream Team, Infamous, definitely. Yeah, I forgot to say Infamous. Hmm? I forgot to say Infamous for the time I before. How can you forget about saying Infamous? <laughs> it's. Infamous. It's been a while since I played it. <laughs> it's so infamous that. Also Infamous. <laughs> um, it's so infamous that it's infamous. I'm hyped for, for Metal Gear Solid 5. King of... Please, I just want King of Hearts 3. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be there. I will bet... I'm betting that it won't be there. Oh, like they're, gonna, they're gonna show off... Um, 
Final Fantasy Versus 13, but I doubt they're going to show off Kingdom Hearts 3 because they probably haven't even developed anything. And I might, I might, only 1% of me, probably like 1 or 5% of me is a little bit hyped for an Xbox One. Only a small percent, just to see what kind of games they could be in there for that thing. Forza, football, basketball, baseball. Board. <laughs> oh, and uh, Call of Duty, but baseball. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing that was hyped about Call of Duty Ghost Ghost was the dog. At least they they used an actual German Shepherd dog to get that, and I thought that was kind of cool. Like bravo to the guys who made who are making that for like going that in depth and using an actual German Shepherd as a model like I wouldn't have expected that much effort from a company but so kudos to Activision but <coughs> no, I, I always say good two things were good from the Xbox conference the controller and at least the Sony console dude the controller was the 360 controller with some modifications I know that's why I liked it it was just the same simple thing all right, so people who don't know, the, uh, you all have probably seen the 360 controller. If you haven't, you must be living under a rock somewhere. <laughs> the Xbox, the X-Bones controller is basically that with it, the controller being black, the buttons being black with the colored letters instead of the logo on top. And the little Xbox button being above the start and select buttons. And I looked at that controller and I said, am I looking at the 360 controller or a brand new one? But at least they showed the console. Yeah, that was really their only... Good thing. Like, that was the only thing that they did that topped uh, Sony's press conference. They showed the console. But Sony was just and, nothing but games and games. Yeah, and they said a few things about the specs of the console, and that was it. And it's, it's, it's the same for the for, for PS4. Oh, and you know what the best part is? What? Since the X-Bone conference came out later than the uh, PS4, um, they can, people can say that the X-Bones, uh, the X-Bone stole uh, the PS4's uh, specs. But even then, the PS4 is still a little bit more powerful than the Xbox One. Yeah, it has a different graphics card. Yeah, it's it's a lot, it's a little bit powerful than the Xbox One. Not saying a lot, but... It's a little, it's just a small difference. Probably, like, some of the graphics will register better. Yeah. Or than it would on the X-Bone, but whatever. Or, like, you know, there will, there'll be, like, better frame rates. Alright, so I think that's just about it, wouldn't you say? Yeah, uh, put a comment in the video below to talk about what you're hyped for E3 too. Alright, so, before we close, I am Tristan. Wait, what about the animation channel? No, wait, we have to save that for later. No. Oh, oh damn, I just made a little teaser thing. Oh. <laughs> We're sorry, people, but we can't spoil it. We spoil nothing <laughs> at... Uh, is this going onto my channel or your or the Gaming Pro channel? I'll put it under the Gaming Pro. You can you can right. do it on you. You can put this on you your channel too. It. Yeah, I think I'll we'll post it there too. So afterwards, send me the video and I'll post it there too. So the Gaming Pros and Troller Tim Brothers do not spoil anything. We'll just say there's something big. No, we won't say anything. We will be tight-lipped. What we're gonna say about? We're gonna talk about it. No, we end the video. So, I am Tristan. I am Derek. Uh, no, I am Derek, the, you know, you'll see. And this has been our reaction, or our expectations, or whatever you want to call it, E3. Which comes in like three, four days. Four days. Well, if you can't, I'm talking about Yeah, like, four days from today. But so, three, four, seven days. This is the Gaming Bros, or Pros. Hey, the Gaming Bros. No, not the Gaming Bros. Aw. The Gaming Pros, signing off. Toodaloo. Derek, end the video. What? End the video. Oh, oh, yeah. God damn it, Derek, end the video. <laughs>